Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for some more ass cancer! <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just get on with it. Experiment. Glowing 1000 degree knife versus hamster. Uh, how about experiment glowing 1000 degree toucan? If a dog and a cat were to fight, who would win? And don't say dogs because you don't want to trigger me. No, the answer's cats. Because they're the devil. Five Nights at Freddy's hamster style. <laughs> Hello, Internet. <laughs> Title offers good Pokemon nicknames, which I believe was Grilled Cheese and Windex. I don't know what this one is, but name your Pokemon this title. Are you excited for the newly announced Monster Hunter Double Cross? Well, absolutely, it's expanding on a game that absolutely needed an expansion. Monster Hunter Generations by itself is like an inadequate, not complete game. The other Monster Hunter games they made that really needed the G-Rank installment still felt like complete games, but Generation Slash Cross by itself is so easy through and through the whole way, except for the exception of some event quests, which where they were trying to overcompensate by giving us really hard stuff, which I don't really count as fixing the problem. It's more like causing another problem later on the road. Yes, it really needed another installment to make it you know, have that extra step for the players who wanted to get to a more difficult game. But I think the main problem with that game is low rank and high rank anyway. So if there's problems with that, it makes me kind of worried, honestly, about what's going to happen in G rank. But who knows? I've got high hopes for it. Where's Octillery Clinton at? Forgotten back in Johto because everyone else voted for Gumshoes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is there any game that you wish you could wipe your memories of just to experience it like it's brand new again? Immediately what comes to mind is Metal Gear Solid, which I actually did with you guys, which is funny. But um, as I'm sitting here thinking more about that as a better example, because obviously that's like a story thing that, you know, once you understand the story, the game itself is just, you know, it's a simple game. It's not that complex. And, you know, I, I mean, replay value is still really high. It's cool. But that first time is obviously always different from your other playthroughs back. And I kind of want to say Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, if I'm going to pick any other game just to, you know, throw another curveball at you, because I really enjoyed that game but I played it so many times that now I kind of know everything that's in it and I'm kind of spoiled to it. I can't like ever get back to that first experience I had with it, which was similar to my other playthroughs of other Zelda games, you know, and now it's more like going through motions, you know, and so if anything, I'd love to be able to step back from that one. And if anything, um, I was talking with Kim about that series. She would actually be interested in doing a, you know, one of those Let's Plays where I'm with her playing it, except she'd be playing the game, because obviously I know what I'm doing, she does not, so that might be interesting, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Why am I still here? Because your outros are funny. No doubt there's gonna be something stupid at the end of this outro as well. And now I'm plotting not doing anything. Will you or Kim make a death montage at the end of the evolution randomizer? <laughs> um, more than likely, yeah. I, I've already, yeah, there's, there's a lot of really hilarious and painful deaths throughout the series. As you can see, I'm wearing the hat right now, and I've actually got all the badges on right now. Um, because obviously, as you guys know, I have to film ahead of where you guys really are in terms of what you're watching. Duh. Um, and by the way, fun fact, this is gonna be the only time you'll ever see me wearing all of the pins. Um, because I actually finished recording the series before I ever got the Meloetta one, and the thing is, like, I w it was actually only like a cup like a week ago, I finally finished all of them, and it's mainly because I'm trying to prepare videos in advance because there's a lot happening this year for me, you know, the, the wedding thing, the house thing, there's a lot of stuff going on, so I'm trying to get ahead, obviously. And, um, obviously, uh, other stuff aside, um, that would still be a really hilarious thing to do. I'd love to. It's not gonna be that long, but granted, if you go for, like, a little bit behind, you know, so you don't know, like, a little, I'm sorry, a little bit ahead of when the event actually happens, to where you can't really tell what's gonna happen or who's gonna die, it'd be really funny. But I don't, also, don't want to spoil the series, people, but still, it's really hilarious to go back through that. I... I think I'm going to. And apparently my Jangmo likes your outro music. It bobs its head more energetically when it comes on when we're in the care thingy. At least he has good taste. I think the important thing to keep in mind about Monster Hunter is that it's huge in Japan with all ages appeal. Also, X slash generations, surprise Capcom themselves in the sales department. Yeah, it should've. 
Frankly, I've had more fun with it than Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, though being able to blast through to late game far and away the best part a week after it released probably had something to do with it. I guess having a life does slow down progress a lot. Yes, it does. And that's what everyone else is kind of having problems with. Like, the game, it, it gives you a, if you're 100%ing it, like I am, and I know a lot of other people are, it's giving you a stupid amount of gathering quests, things that the other Monster Hunter games never did. It's more of, like, time-consuming quests or repeat monsters just for the sake of them showing up. And then if you are 100%ing them, if you ever go to the smithy and want to just build something, you already have all of the parts to do it because they sent you so many times to do the same thing over and over again, I don't know, it kind of breaks the idea of the game, of you voluntarily wanting to do extra quests to go back and do the same thing again because you need to. That never happens in this game, and that's why it's kind of game-breaking compared to the others. Aside from the new installments of, like, how you can actually fight versus the little improvements that monsters actually got. To be fair, monsters did get some buffs in high rank. I'm going to be getting there very soon. I haven't quite played that at point in, um and generations myself with hyper monsters and deviants i'm very excited to but still like that's that, that doesn't fix low rank which is the main problem i have with it so and still most people are not going to be sitting down and playing the entire game in a week most people have other obligations like me and they have other things to do and they can't just bust through one video game in a week and you can't change your out or your review on what you think of the game because you had more time with it other people are not going to be playing it like that so Either way, I guess this my my main response to that was people. Oh jeez, people need to understand that the game is being given to everybody, and it's not just being given to you. And it's it it changes how everyone else experiences the same thing. And I think those changes they've done in the series are not good. Enemy Breath of the Wild is returning the Legend of Zelda of the series to its roots while addressing the criticisms of Skyward Sword. There have been shockingly few criticisms of it. Um, you're not looking very hard then. Because, okay, yes, I agree. It is bringing it back to its roots, which as soon as they announced that, I was freaking out. I love that idea because I love the original Legend of Zelda. I love the Legend of Zelda Link to Past, which is actually my favorite Zelda game. Um, Ocarina of Time. Um, Majora's Mask is an interesting one. I've never actually beaten it, though. Uh, Twilight Princess, obviously I said before, I really love the Legend of Zelda franchise and I love where it started from. The idea of here you are in the middle of nowhere, here's your sword, go out and do, do stuff. And that's basically where this one is starting from. But if you look more into what they have been working on, there's a lot of criticism for it. People already, okay, it depends on who you're asking. If you're looking at like, you know, IGN or something like that, yeah. Okay, guys, spoiler alert, IGN gets paid to make reviews, which basically means the review is worthless because the company themselves, Nintendo can come to them, give them, you know, a thousand dollars and they'll write a very nice review about their games and poof, there you go. That's, that doesn't mean that it's criticism. You need to hear what people are actually saying about this. Like, you know, read Twitter posts and stuff. So don't, don't trust those game review sites anymore. It's really sad, but they all get bought out. But yeah, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has some quirky issues into it. I'm not going to get into it now, but I'm not sure about that game. Like, it, it, the first glance, I'm like, oh, yes, the uh, the concept is perfect. But the execution, mm, I'm not sure. What do you think about Monster Hunter Cross? Is it too easy compared to the previous titles, such as Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, 3 Ultimate, and Freedom Unite? Don't you dare even compare those games. As Atomic Thomas responds, it's pathetically easy. The lack of G-Rank is a big deal. Thank God Monster Hunter Double Cross is a thing. That's, as I said before, that's not even all of the problems with it. I mean, it lo okay, even if G-Rank was included in this game, it doesn't matter because low rank itself is the biggest problem with this game compared to the low ranks of other Monster Hunter games. It is, there's so many problems with it, I'm not even gonna get into them all now because I kind of get into some of them earlier. High rank is starting to have some of those problems as well, but it's not nearly as apparent. And then the G rank, obviously, yeah, it's different. But the thing is, the other Monster Hunter games, all those titles you just said, 4 Ultimate, 3 Ultimate, Freedom Unite, all of those are entertaining through and through, and you have to pay attention and work for what you want to try and progress through the game. You don't do that in Monster Hunter Generations. You get handed everything on a silver platter. And that's why it is pathetically easy, as Atomic Comic says. How do you get Pikachu on a bus? You Pokemon.
I get it. I don't know if someone asked you this, but when will you play with your subs on NH Gen? Well, I wait till uh, Samuel Reyes Hernandez gets offline on YouTube, and then I hop on over to Twitch and launch the page and we start playing Monster Hunter Generations with everybody else. Okay, I I'm just kidding, but we've actually done that a couple times now, and by a couple I mean like at least four. Um, so it's not a couple, a couple couple. And um, anyway, what I do is I, whenever I have time and quests that I need to do on Monster Hunter Generations or the rare chance when I actually want to grind for some parts, mainly because I'm making a lot of diverse weapons right now because I've just hit a high rank in terms of where I am filming. So I'm doing a lot of stuff offline. And so I decided to do a lot of that stuff with you guys. And um, all that stuff I'm doing, you know, as well, you know, doing events and fun stuff like that. It's just whenever I have time to. So I can't, I don't have like a set schedule, but um, to be fair, usually it is on Saturdays, which um, ironically is when I'm filming right now. But the problem is I had to do this today. So there goes your Twitch time. <laughs> whenever someone says power to the hamster, you say senile or something. I don't even know what it means or if I'm saying it correctly. Um, oh. Zine Heil. It's a Nazi thing. Which was a joke. Senile! Hi, Hamster. It's been a long time since I've seen your videos. I'm glad I came back. Why'd you leave me in the first place? Ugh, I would watch a Pokemon Stadium Let's Play. I didn't say anything about Pokemon Stadium. I said Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon Stadium is... I don't know. It's... <sighs> It was like a good idea at the time, like everyone freaked out because it was Pokemon in 3D, but that's really all it is. It's, it's, Pokemon uh, Stadium is really just, here have a bunch of Pokemon who you're handed through rental Pokemon, and you have to go through battles, so the game just battles, 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 no story, no nothing, it's just battles, 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 battles. And that one, I think you're getting confused with Pokemon Coliseum, you have to look them up, there's a big difference. Pokemon Coliseum has a story, and I think it's really a hard game, and it's really fun. And especially throwing in a randomizer on top of that. Oh, that'd be so nice. Which, by the way, like I said, guys, since I finished recording um, the new randomizer series, um, finishing our evolution randomizer, I am really going to need some help from somebody out there, hopefully, who can help me get started on randomizing Coliseum. I'm not sure how you go about doing that, if you have to do it, like, physically on a GameCube, or you, you need to do it with, um, you know... Uh, doing it on an emulator somehow, but either way, it would be amazing if I can get somebody's help with that because I don't have, like, the resources and or time to try and figure that out, and I really want to be able to do that for the channel. But, anyway, um, wait, how am I supposed to do this? Mm, that's all I have for this time, which is actually not true, um, because there were so many questions I got this round of Ask Hamster that I'm actually splitting this one into two. You guys are going to be getting two episodes of Ask Hamster this month, um, and I need to explain, like, why and what's going on, because I got so many questions, and so many people actually started putting questions, uh, like, multiple questions in their own comments, and I try to respond to everybody, and even still, I've been kind of clipping some of them out, just because some of them people responded, they weren't really questions, and, you know, stuff like that, that people wouldn't mind that I didn't have to stop and say something for. But making, I'm, make, I'm splitting this in half, and it's really going to feel like two whole episodes of Ask Hamster because it's so many. But for future um, episodes, what I'm thinking we should do instead is I'm going to unfortunately have to limit it down to 30 comments at most because I can't keep doing this many of them. There's really, there's just too many. Um, plus, there's the fact that we are also going to be streaming on Twitch. So a lot of these things, if you, if you guys actually have questions about, you know, um, you can just go over to the Twitch whenever you see me that's uh, and I'm live and just start asking me questions there. I literally I'm just talking to people on there while I'm playing whatever game it is, either it's shiny hunting, um, you know, playing some Monster Hunter or Pokemon Keychart has been streamed several times. There's a lot of stuff I've been doing on there. It's a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, with that all to the side, I'm gonna have to split this one in half. And basically, if I'm going to be choosing some comments to read, it's obviously for the next, for Ask Hamster, let me see, this is 11, the second half of this is going to be episode 12, so for Ask Hamster 13, if you guys are waiting for Ask Hamster 13, any comments that are left in the bottom of this video, I can't pull out and read for Ask Hamster 13, or Ask Hamster 12, because normally I don't ever do that, obviously, and like I said, I'm going to be choosing 30 this time, normally I just read all of them, this time because we're getting too many and for honestly from here on out we're probably just gonna be getting more than 30 anyway I'm just gonna be picking 30 of them and another thing to throw in there since I'm only picking a few please don't try and put a hundred questions inside of your one comment because there's some that are we're gonna be reading in the next part that are just massive and I want to be able to get at everybody's comment but 
let's just say you'll be less likely to be chosen if you put that many in there. Just try and pick like a couple really good ones, some funny stuff, or things you're actually honestly curious about, and then I'm gonna sort them out from there. But either way, I don't wanna blabber on too long, I just wanna make sure you guys all understood what was going on. So like I said, if you want me to read your comment in the next video, leave it down as a question in the comment section below. But either way, that is all for this time. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Ask Hamster. Fui! Ha! I didn't do anything stupid for the outro! Oh.